So creating an Acronis backup gateway from the Acronis cyber infrastructure, there's a few steps. So once you have your Acronis cyber infrastructure set up, you have the storage node created. You can go into storage services, into backup storage. And in this case, we have three available nodes. We're going to select all three of those nodes. And we're going to go through creating a gateway. So once we've selected the nodes, we go to the upper right side and click on create gateway. At this point, we can then choose the storage type using the local attached storage that is part of the Acronis cyber infrastructure is the first option. The second option is a network file system, which is unavailable for multiple nodes. You can only use a single node, or in this case, we're going to go with public cloud. For public cloud, the first thing it's going to ask us to do is for each of the nodes to make sure we've assigned both the public and the private Acronis backup gateway network interface. Those are now set up so we can go on to the next step and we can select which public cloud type we're going to go with. So in this case, we can choose Google Cloud, Amazon S3. There's a large number of selections. The difference is simply going to be that the information you need to provide may be slightly different for each of the different types. In most cases, if it's an S3 compatible, you're going to be asked for the region. You're going to be asked for the access key, provide the secret key, and then select the bucket. The bucket needs to already exist. So here's the bucket I've created. And then once you've entered the information, you click next and it will go and verify. Once it is verified, you then choose the encoding. So in this case, the one plus two, this is the encoding of the uh, local storage on the nodes, which will be used as a staging area to provide uh, transfer to Amazon S3 storage. We're now gonna provide a DNS name, and this needs to be a DNS name that you can that can be resolved. So you're going to need to actually have this as a fully qualified domain name. So in this case, we're going to do something like backup.domain.com. Obviously, this needs to be a domain that you own the top level domain and can create the subdomain for. And you'll need to actually go into uh, into the, the name servers and be able to actually create this domain record. It will need to resolve to these, uh, these are the IP addresses of the public Acronis backup gateway server. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna click next, and then we need to register. So we're gonna register this with a cloud.acronis.com. So the first thing we need to, we'll, we'll need to use is a partner level account. So this is, the same account that you use to log on uh, your SP number or your account number and the Acronis cloud to log on as a service provider. Once that once the gateway has been registered, you can go ahead and assign that as your storage location for cloud for backups. Uh, remember, of course, that, that uh, until that URL and the domain record have been uh, specified, you'll be unable to actually successfully do backups. Once it's created, yeah, you can manage the volume parameters as well as the storage parameters. So if you need to change your secret key uh, or any of the parameters uh, of the uh, public cloud, you are able to manage those after the fact. There is also um, periodically about once a year, you'll need to update the certificate. This is a certificate that generates between Acronis Cyber Infrastructure and the Acronis Cyber Cloud. I, all you need to do here is it's exactly the same as registration. You, you'll need to add, use the same username and password that were used to register. 